Good afternoon, and welcome down to Wendy Hill Kennel. Today is, oh my, uh, today's the 16th. 16th? I knew it was either the 15th or the 18th, and so I was totally wrong. Uh, so we're down here this morning. We're both freezing cold down here. I think I've got the vents off downstairs, and it's cold. Um, so this is Wendy Hill Kennel, and we are coming to you from Ohio, where we have Another three inches of snow on top of the 10 we had, but I think three and two and three fourths of that is an ice storm we got. So it is miserable here. Uh, no puppies are going outside today. Pretty much nobody's going outside today as far as dogs. Vanessa's been out there. She looked like she'd come in from the Klondike when she got back inside. Oh my. So today we're going to give you, these guys are going to be, this is Aspen's kid. I'm sorry, Grace's kids. And um, they're gonna be four weeks old tomorrow. So tomorrow they're gonna get their first puppy shot. And I know it's a good babies. Yeah. They're gonna get, it's a, uh, actually it's a booster shot. It's called Neopar. So they'll get their Neopar shot tomorrow. And they're also um, gonna get worm this week. And they're doing really good. We're not going to bathe them this week. It is just too freaking cold. We were 18 degrees this morning. We are supposed to go down to, what is it, single digits tonight? Four degrees. So it is going to be cold. And I'm not bathing babies in this cold. So even though the building is heated, they're still on the floor. They have a heater infrared above them. But it's not worth it. They're not that dirty. Well, somebody had puppy poop on them, but you know what? A flea calm takes puppy poop right off when you don't want to give them a bath. So we're going to give you current weights. They're not doing a whole lot right now. Um, this is a little scary. Uh, you're going to see a couple of them probably get relaxed quicker. This one's shivering. This one's asleep. I know. Oh, don't cry. We'll get started. And uh, so we'll catch up on how they're doing. This one absolutely is getting brown eyebrows. So it's definitely a phantom. Those little eyebrows finally popped out. Come on, you're okay, don't panic. Don't panic, come up here. Get right in here beside of us and you'll be just fine. There, don't be like that ornery girl in Aspen's litter, you look just like her. All right, so let's see if my chipper's gonna work today. Aha, this is puppy 5579 and are you a cute baby? I know you got the little eyebrows coming in. Yeah, so you're not doing too much. So you're not doing too much. They're getting nice and fat. They got really pretty coats on them. Yes, you do. I know you're freaking out. Let me turn my scales on because it shut off. Let me move you over here. So we have a path to the scales and we can see what we got. All right, so she is... Three pounds, 12.5. That is cold on your belly. Mercy sake, that is cold on your belly. All right, let's put you down. Let me get you before you decide to turn and go somewhere else. So this is the black male, and let's check. Yep, we're staying black. I don't see. Oh, I do see. Oh, I can't tell if it's the lighting down here. There is a little bit of red let me check the back of your ears because sometimes it shows up there first. I think I see red under there. I do think there's a little bit of red under here. It's not really enough to tell yet, but there is definitely another color under here. I think this pup's gonna change colors. Let me see. I know, blacks are hard to get to stay black when it comes to snoodles. You're okay, you're okay. Just calm down and sit for just a second. Let me see your feet. No, nothing on your legs. Let me look under your tail. No. I don't know. I could be wrong. Could be goofy. Could just be the lighting. Could be. Say so we won't know for a while. No, right now you look black. Yeah, right now you look black. So this is puppy number 5588. Are you panicking? You'll be all right. When you look up there. Yeah. See, it's kind of scary. Kind of scary. Let's see what you weigh. You're a chunk. This one is four pounds, one ounce today. All right. Let's lay you down here. I'm going to get out the little sleeping beauty. She's down here snoozing. Oh, she says, don't wake me up. 
Betsy, don't wake me up. So this is the little peanut of the group and she is absolutely changing colors. 5581. I know, look at that little tail. Yes, and see, says I wiggle my tail. So you can see behind her ears, see that light color? She's turning colors. She probably has it on her belly, she does. So if I had to guess, and I think it's gonna be a pretty good guess, I think she's gonna turn buff all over. Um, because her ears have turned. If she wears a schnauzer and she was jet black but she had brown hair, she would all turn salt and pepper. But she's also got a little bit of light brown on her tail. And she has phantom markings under her tail, but I think this just means she's all gonna turn this color. Cause her whole little butt's turning, isn't it? Are you all turning? I know, don't you dare poop on me. It smells a little bit fumey back here. Can you hold still? Up, 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 nope, hold still. Sit down here and look up, there. Look up there at Vanessa. Yeah, are you good, baby? Her hair's doing really good. She's getting really nice, she's getting a lot of curls in it. You're gonna be my first long-tailed snoodle for a while. All right, so we are not zeroed out. I think it's because somebody under there is laying on it. No, nope. zero it out. I'm guessing she is a pound and three quarters to two pounds. Two pounds, 1.8. So we're over the two pound mark. See, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I know you're seeping. I know you're seeping. All right. Oh, I didn't give you a microchip. Did I? Yep, 55.81. All right, down you go. There you go, pumpkin. All right, let's do this little black. I know, I know, I know. This is a female. Oh my, oh my, it'd be okay. Are you all right? Calm down. There you go. 5587. I know you're having a fit. And I was going to look. She's not changing on her belly. She's just turning phantom markings. Oh my. Are you going to be my scaredy cat today? You'll be all right. Yeah, you'll be all right. She's doing really good. She's nice and fat. She's got nice body consistency. Got really pretty hair. Got waves coming in her hair. Okay, we're gonna make you cold. We're gonna make you cold. Three pounds, 10.5. It's okay, you're not gonna fall. Come here, let me set you down. Let me set you down. There you go. Now you're good. All right, so let's go. This is the black and white. Are you sleeping? I know, you're sleeping, you're warm. I'd like to just leave you on my lap, I know. This is a black and white female. She is 5589 is her microchip. She's getting really pretty. I love when they have a perfect mask. They look so cute. Body weight's really nice. She's got nice coat. Huh, so you're getting nice curls. She's nice and soft. She feels nice to run her, your fingers through her coat. You got some good fat on your body too, don't you? You got lots of rolls under that coat. All right, let's see what you are. I bet she's about three pounds. Three pounds, 9.5. All righty. I'm gonna wake up Sleeping Beauty down here. I know, you are just a tank. Yep, you are a tank. I had someone ask me what litter their puppy was in this litter when they were born, and I honestly can't tell you where anybody was in this litter anymore. I used to keep track of it. Look at the head on this puppy. <laughs> this has got a big forehead. She's a big puppy. Yes, he's a big puppy. I know, I love the mask. It's got such a pretty face. This is 5584. I know, I know, turn around. Nice coat, love, love the colors. Nice, soft, it's getting waves down through here, which means you're gonna go back to sleep sitting there, aren't you? Yeah, I can tell, but I'm gonna wake you up. I know, it. you're sleepy today. Uh, eyebrows are getting a little bit of brown above him. He looks like he's gonna get the tri-colored eyebrows out of this too. So I have a feeling he's gonna end up being a tri-colored Merle. All right, let me see what you weigh. I bet he's four pounds. Well, we're almost five pounds. Four pounds, 11.5. Oh, it's okay. Shh, it'd be all right. Yeah, it'd be all right. I know, it'd be okay. All right, we'll put you down. That makes you much better. There, don't lay on her. She's the littlest one in the litter. All right. So they're really doing good. Nobody's got any issues. 
Um, they will change now every week. Uh, their activity level will change. Their sociability will change. They're still a little bit on that. Um, I'm not even on top. It's warmer if you get on top. Yeah, everybody else can warm you up. Heat rises. You got to learn that. Yep, heat rises. That one's getting its nose warm. Are you want to turn around here and sneak in? I can put you right in this hole. Looky there. Now you'll be where it's warm. She says, I might like that. She says, yeah, I'm going to stay there. Um, they're really not doing anything at this point. They're eating. Vanessa says they're just starting to play a little bit in the kennel. Uh, and for them, that means toddling around, maybe swatting at each other. Um, but by five weeks old, they're going to, activity level is going to change big time. So um, probably next week, we will wait until they're a full five weeks old to do their video. And uh, tomorrow's Wednesday, so probably next Wednesday, we'll do their next video. That way, you'll see a huge change in their activity level. And they will become obnoxious at that point. <laughs> They'll get ornery, they get in, they'll get into everything. Um, they will be much more active than they are at this point. They're still sweet little babies that don't want to do anything except eat, sleep, and stay warm and go to the bathroom. Um, but they're doing great. Grace is a really, really good mom with these guys. She always has been. And um, we're really, really glad we have her. So I hope you've enjoyed their video. Uh, they're just not doing much of anything today. And uh, once this weather quits, Vanessa brought him up from the kennel, and uh, you're getting a yeah, you're getting a pretty forehead. They're going to uh, we'll probably take pictures next week and put you some new photos on. So if you have any questions, um, give me a call. If you are still debating whether to do a flight nanny or come and pick up, uh, let me know if you need Amanda's phone number for the flight nanny or Lisa that does ground transport. I'll be glad to send you either one of those or we'll always be glad to see you in person. Um, hopefully in March, our weather starts to clear up and right now we are a frozen sheet of ice where it's hard to wash concrete. It's just a miserable time in the outside of the kennel right now. We haven't had to deal with this for a couple years and we're paying for it this year. So I hope you've enjoyed their videos. They're doing really good and uh, call me with questions. Stay warm. Hopefully you don't have any more snow on Thursday. We're calling for another, they say anywhere from 10 to 20 inches, and I'm so over snow right now. My snowblower hasn't even had to come out of the garage for three years, and this year it's permanently over here in the house so we can use it when we're able to. So talk to you later. Have a great week.